Hey there guys, hope all's going well. Um, today I have an iWeb tutorial, a little bit different from my usual Final Cut. Um, but I've got I've got um, some questions asking me um, how to make a website in iWeb, and a few questions on my website. So I'm gonna show you pretty much what I do. I use iWeb. Um, it comes on all Macs. If you're a Mac, you know what I'm talking about. So first thing we want to do is you want to come up here to File and hit um, New Site. Pretty obvious, right? Um, now they actually have a lot of presets for website design so you can browse through these and if you see one that you um, have a lot of inspiration for or you know inspiration that comes from that if you like it let's say I like this one the main event one um, I'll just take that and make sure I'm select on the welcome page and hit choose and now I want to make my new website um, we can, here we have the welcome page um, some of these are going to have a made on a Mac sign at the very bottom you can just hit that and hit delete if you don't want it. Um, some of the things I really like about this website are the um, stars across the um, sides. I think that might be kind of a cool idea. Um, if I wanted to, I could always um, copy and paste that into an entirely different website like my site. Hit paste and boom, there we go. We have the uh, stars. So, But I don't want that right there. <laughs> so I'll come back to the um, site right here and move my bad. Then I'll just move these back up here. So after that, we need to um, remember that everything on this website is modifiable. Like all these pictures, I don't want any of these pictures. Um, I don't want any of that billing stuff. I don't know what that's all about. So instead, I'm just gonna put that right there, and I'll move this over here. And if I want, for say one of those on the um, opposite side, I'll just copy and paste them and then drag them on over and um, what's really cool about this is um, they always have li little guidelines, little blue lines that pop up to show us where you are um, in relation to the other things on that web page and I, th I think that's pretty cool I think a lot of um, web designing software has that but I don't know now here's um, a, a really cool design it's kind of like, like a little quote of the day or something maybe with the um, neat designing around the edges um, but I don't want to say that, so let's delete that. Um, instead, let's have it say, um, the cat is red. I don't know why it's red. <laughs> it beats me. But, um, I really like that, so maybe I'll have, like, a daily update there for say. Um, we know also, you know, always change the text, um, color. Um, I'm going to get into that a little bit in a further different tutorial. But also, um, good to know about all, um, getting to the fonts and the colors and everything like that um, everything is going to be down here along the bottom um, right now I have some of the pages already open so I'll just close out of those and let's say I wanted to bring up the um, inspector the inspector is the uh, control of everything everything that you create, um, all of the text um, aligning, um, rotating, positioning, things like that so I'll close out of that um, adjustment is for the color um, sharpness of everything on the page, um, specifically more of the uh, images. Um, I don't have any up right now, but once I'll cover that in a, li a little bit later tutorial. Um, colors, you get the idea with the uh, colors. You know, it's the basic user interface for Macs, and also fonts. It's the basic user interface. Now down here along the side, we have some shapes. For say, if we wanted to add like, a little speech bubble, we can do that too. Um, also, you know, all the bubbles are totally, um, rearrangeable and adjustable. So we make the size bigger, smaller, change the location. Can make it like a guy with a top hat or like a jack in the box guy. I don't know. Um, you can also always change the theme later if you don't like that theme. Let's say I want to change it to watermark, but I don't. That looks way too friendly. I just hit undo button and there we go. So this was a very basic tutorial, talking about the user interface and creating your own website um, in iWeb. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I'm hoping to turn this into a series. So if you like this video, subscribe to um, check out some more. And I will see you on a later tutorial. Goodbye for now.